Okay, cool. Let's begin. Hey, everyone. Hello. Welcome back. Uh, We've had our, our Christmas and New Year break, and we're back. We're back on the other side, so this is exciting. And um, I see shoes. Yeah, I think you should go get them. Um, okay. Priority one, shoes. I'll come back for this and for this. And we remembered that we have our our bag now, so we can pick up all the bottles. Oh, money. it's just money, oh, not money shoes. shoes. Boo. All right, well, what's this? Someone has drawn a five-pointed star on the wall. And apparently... That isn't just a five-pointed star. It's <coughs> an inverted white pentagram cradled in a wreath of antlers. The iconography of communism, mm. in other words. Inspect. The star and antlers was developed in the sixth decade of the last century and quickly adopted by Mezov and the communards during the revolution. Okay. Even today, half a century after, the star and antlers retains the ability to evoke hope, disappointment, and fear in equal measure. Why is that upside down? To symbolize the toppling of the old order. Okay. okay. Also, some social democrats were already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fair. What's the deal with the antlers? The wreath of antlers represents a natural crown. It was about building a society that could exist in accord with the natural world and at the same time above it. Okay, and why white? Because white is the color of peace. <laughs> Oh, look. Well, that's interesting, though, because it was hardly a peaceful uh, revolution, right? What does it evoke in me? Gone. <gasps> Gone is the glory oh. of hope. Jeepers, creepers. Only the scribblings of impoverished students remain in dirty hallways. Uh, interesting, because in the last episode, we were like, we're going to bring communism back solo, right? Right. <laughs> you are the big communism builder now. It's you or no one. That's right. It's the same, same. It shouldn't have damaged our morale. We're like, here for it. <laughs> I mean, obviously. I realise this stuff, should I finish looking down here and then go back here or? I don't think you should knock on doors yet. I kind of, kind of want you to look around oh. if that's cool. More money from without even moving. Five dollars. What's this? Well, I guess we could start door knocking if you wanted. No, 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 no. Ooh. Postcard of Boogie Street, 15 real. We seem to be collecting postcards. Oh, a person. 25 cents. Okay, I'm just gonna go back. I'm gonna go back real quick. Because we didn't um have a good look at whatever was in there, did we? There, right. yeah. This box is filled with cleaning chemicals, smells of laundry detergent. Okay. What's this? Oh, the stairs. Isn't that where we came in? Didn't we come in this door? Eviction notices and missing pets are plastered on top of each other. Oh, no. You're right. So many directions we can go. What are you? An old shoe rack, boots, sneakers, and old slippers. Okay, is there, what are we going to do? Apartment 12, a loud rumbling snore comes from within. Okay, so we're trying to find clues of where this chap is, right? Sure. So, shall we go talk to this person? Yeah, absolutely. And I suspect he's... If there's an upstairs, I would want to go upstairs, given that's where we saw him. Good point. Very good point. This isn't, like, knocking on the door. Okay, it's locked. Hello. Give me a moment. An elderly woman is leaning on her broom, her knuckles white as bone. She seems to be having difficulty breathing. Ooh. The cold never does any good for my bronchitis. Fair enough. <laughs> she sneezes into a dirty handkerchief. This woman's health is failing her. There's not much to do. Not in this damp. Um... What do you want to say, is it? We just have a few questions. I only say, like, you would ask the top one, but it sounds like we actually can't do much for her. And yeah. it seems a bit callous to ask someone. I and don't she's know. also already said that, like, she's got bronchitis. Like, yeah. She's perfectly capable of t going to a doctor if she needs to. Go ahead, then. What do you want to know, policeman? She's the cleaning lady. She knows the Ooh. floor plan and the residence. I don't want to ask this yet, so let's start with who are you? I'm no one. Just an old woman who cleans these hallways. Do you live here? If you can call it living. 
I have a little room upstairs right next to the coal room. It's barely bigger than a closet, but I don't complain, no. I have my bed and my aching bones to keep me company, and that's all I need from this world. That's a difficult way to live. And all she gets, too. The coastal wind beats down hard on the coal room door outside. Splashes of waves make the balcony slippery. She hasn't spoken to anyone for a while. Even her sentences feel rusty. Ooh, interesting. All right, well, let's ask about the dude. I'm looking for a young male in his mid-twenties, dark hair, skinny build, a smoker on the balcony. Yes, yes. I know who you mean. The scrawny boy who's always smoking like the devil, right? She looks at the other end of the hallway. Somewhere in the building, a child starts crying. You hear a radio tuned to a talk show and someone taking a shower. So we can hear, there's it's one of those apartment buildings where you can hear everything. Mmm, good noticing. What's he in trouble for? Whoa, we're not saying the second one, which is he's wanted for murder, he's going away for life. Although, like, maybe that would, like, mean that she doesn't say, oh, he's talking to the police about the other dead body. Yeah, I don't know. No trouble, I just want to talk to him. Do you know where he lives? Talk? <laughs> <laughs> the cleaning lady starts laughing, but it turns into a, vi into a violent coughing spasm. She squeezes her broom, trying to catch her breath. What was so funny about that? He lives upstairs in room 28. 28 okay. Go to the balcony. It's one of those doors there. He's usually home in the evening. Thank you. We should go check out his apartment on the balcony. See if he's home. Okay, nice. Okay, thank you. That was the information we needed. So room 28 is what we're looking for. I'm just going to investigate this because I have one. Apartment 8, the mailbox is overflowing. Okay, nobody lives there anymore. Is this her or above her head? The graffito says a firing squad for the rich. Okay, we have to figure out how to get upstairs. Which maybe through here? A note reads, foreclosed by Matinee's Real Realty Associates. Oh, foreclosed. Does that mean the whole apartment has been foreclosed? Don't know. Ah, yes, goodies. A book, 16 Days of Coldest April. Let's have a little interact with that, shall we? Yeah. Uh, interact this. The cover features a row of concrete buildings with a monochrome rainbow in the sky. It tells a rather excruciating story about two lovers during the period of ethnic unrest in Yugograd. The book has been filed under psychological realism. Mm. Oh, there we go. And we've also got this book. I don't know when we got that. Which is La Fumée. Which is that smoking? Anyway. The leading intellectual organ of Martinez communism mm. offers a radical Mazovian perspective on a range of contemporary issues. The cover features a stylized portrait of the lake, late King Frisell with a pair of white antlers growing out of his ah, head. Ah, the antlers again. Interesting. Um, what I wanted to know... Okay, well, we've got four in communism, but we all have ultra... <laughs> we also have ultra-liberal, which is interesting. I don't, yeah. <clears throat> I said this last time, but I would really like to know... Uh, how to get some apocalypse cop in there. <laughs> Friends, if you can do a little bit of a non-spoilery, like, how do we get a bit of an apocalypse cop? I wouldn't mind that. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. A shift in temperature. The air chills around you. Dust settles on the stony floor. Also known as, there's a window open. A former architect stands before a slice of window. A room plan in her hand. A cold wave has made the air in the building stand still and oh, frozen. Nick, with temperatures falling down to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Sometimes we get experience from these. Yeah, what's her face it's tell us? It's red from the cold. She's breathing on her fingers, clasping the plan. Traces of sadness are visible in her expression. The plan. Faint pencil lines on paper depict the same place, but a missing eastern wall connects the room with the neighboring apartment. Ideas for arranging the furniture have been jotted down. Okay, so it was a uh, not fully realised build, as they so often are. It's clean and mm. empty, with new tapestry embellishing the walls. 
A standard HB graphite pencil has fallen off a three-legged stool in the middle of the room. I really like how... I realize his name is Harry, but in my mind, he is still Raphael. I, I think of him as Raphael-Harry. Yeah. She had an eye for beauty. Interesting. Nice. And we learned a little bit about the place. On this is how we get upstairs. Someone has torn down the wall. Can we go through there? Can we go through there? <gasps> Ooh. What is in here? So this is an old apartment. Oh, yes. Nice. Health. How money. Money. We're actually doing quite well for money. Well, we're going to lose 20 of An it when we go to sleep tonight. Checks. Yes. So we need to. I might um, actually, seeing as we're creeping around in this place, I might equip the torch again. Ah, oh, so we can see a little bit better. Yeah, just so if there's like like hidden um, shit. That we'll see and it, right? let's not forget the hint that someone gave us, which is if we are trying to open something, if you hold the pry bar. Yeah, 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 yeah. There good were tip. Friends. Multiple people said we had to go back to something that we like tried to jiggle open. So, um, hello, can we move, please? Where are the stairs? Teeny tiny apartments, Balcony. eh? Yeah. Oh, all right, cool. Is that how we get up? I guess so. External stairs. Yes, the bottles. <laughs> We're gonna be rolling in the dough. Who is this person? The streets will Ooh. flow red once Cindy more. Cindy the skull. A great torrent rushing down Rue de Esperance. You wait and see. She's got a great, great vibe. I'm loving the eyebrows, the coat. Yes. The streets will not flow red with anything. <laughs> Who are you? Kim is like, I will not have any this, of your nonsense. This yeah. kind of rebellion. I can level the French Cindy accent. the fucking skull. What else do you want to know? Date of birth, blood type, the last time I was tested for hep C. Let's start with your blood type and go from there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go where? Accosting a minor. Oops. <laughs> oh, what? Did I click on the wrong thing? Or thing? No, I didn't. Let's start with your blood type. Oh, we were just joking, here. right? Since she was like, what do you want blood type? We're like, yeah. But we, of course we don't, right? Listen to your partner, pig man. Keep your grubby hooves off little old ladies. Despite the attitude, she puts the brush aside. What is she what do you doing? Think the answer that we gave, maybe it was mean, like it was flirtatious when we didn't want it to be. I don't know. I'm not quite understanding how the... Uh... Yeah, the conversation doesn't quite make sense, eh? Maybe we were supposed to catch her doing something earlier. I don't know. Because she's got this brush, and I see there's, like, red paint going down here. Oh, yeah. So maybe she, like, in another scene, like, throws something at a kid or something? Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> that smell coming from her paint bucket. It's not paint. It's heavy fuel. Ooh. Ooh. What are you doing and why are you trying to start a fire? Yeah, I think we do need to ask that. Which number four is, is that heavy fuel oil? Red dyed heavy fuel oil intended for exclusive use in government vehicles, to be precise. Ooh. Ooh. He says studying the contents of Cindy's bucket. What did you think I was using? Aquarelles? Sucked it out of a cop's fuel tank myself. Back in Jamrock. Is that Kim's? Car? Jamrock, no. Is it our car? My wife. Do we have how a car? We, how did we get here? Well, we think that we maybe tried to dro drive over the, the 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 gap in the lock, right? Oh, maybe that was us. We do think that might have been us, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like something we would do. <laughs> number one is fumes are bad for you, okay? Number two is you better hand it over. And number three, is there some clever cultural commentary? I quite like the third one. Yeah. Let's do it. You ain't seen nothing yet, piggy boo. Okay. You keep looking off to the side. What are you looking at? Uh-huh. The lieutenant furrows his brow at another one of your eccentricisms. Ooh, there's a boat. She nods disdainfully towards the woman performing maintenance on the boat decked next to, uh, docked next to the pier. Interesting. So there's a person down here, which is very hard to see, but... Uh... Hatred, disgust. It's difficult to tell which of the two is more present in her girlish features. Hmm. 
Okay. The woman on the boat does not notice. Oh, she's fancy. She is fancy. She's got her own boat. I mean, you don't have to be rich to own a boat. You have to be rich to own a well-maintained boat. <laughs> that is on her. Someone's got to keep an eye on her. Who is she? The Probably the Wild Pines rep. We should talk to her. It's the Wild Pines rep! She's a professional negotiator, though. I have the feeling she will be very cooperative while telling mm. us nothing. Yeah. Uh, friends, we are snacking today. We have cherries and strawberries. So if you hear a little bit of... Uh, nom nomming, then yeah, munching. Then we have <laughs> cherries. That's what it is. So, um, I bet that's right. If she's a negotiator, I'm sure she'll be very good at being um, pleasant, amiable, and um, saying nothing. Yeah, she'll tell us whatever she wants to tell us. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if it's in her interests for the union to get knocked back a peg, mm. she may be quite open with us. You should take the lead. Ask her unexpected questions, you know. Unexpected do your questions. Thing. <laughs> Don't be afraid to get a bit wacky. Throwing so, her off is our best bet. Great. Maybe this is a good point. Oh. Yeah, some of them aren't good. Um, maybe this is a good point to... So it says, don't be afraid to get a bit wacky. Um, a good point to sort of discuss our take on... Uh... Oh, right. <laughs> Why are we having arguments? <laughs> we almost <laughs> never argue when we game. Mm. We're usually um, on the exact same page, but our page has diverged for Disco Elysium. Mm, which I'm kind of enjoying the, the, the give and take. The tension, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I'm quite committed to... Mm, sorry, Tim. I'm quite committed to this concept that I've developed in my mind of, like, Raphael's had amnesia. He's transitioned from Harry to Raphael. And now this is his opportunity to grow new leaves and become a new flower and 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 um, and become a better person and i think it ties in with your natural uh want to follow the rules right mm, mm, mm. and though you're like and, and and harry's a cop so he's gonna follow the rules yeah <laughs> yeah whereas Isa, um i'm sort of leaning into like our uh, raphael slash harry is a bit of a shitbag right <laughs> first of all <laughs> second of all i don't really feel like he's our you know how you have your like your avatar in the game or whatever I don't think he, he's ours. I kind of feel like Kim is ours. Um, he's the voice of reason. And Raphael is off doing just... He's here and off. <laughs> right? Just being a bit loose. And I... Just leaning into that. And the other part of it is... It allows you to sort of... See, view and kind of investigate... Uh, dynamics between people that you would never see. Because I would never treat people like this in real life. Ah, oh, interesting. So you get yeah. to see some of that play out in like a controlled environment where no one's hurt <laughs> right whereas i'm like deep in my empathy and i'm like let's not be a dick to everyone we meet yeah so anyway you're going to continue to see this play out friends That's yeah all. That's yeah all yeah 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 this might be a reasonably chaotic playthrough i think is what will happen and and this happens but not like this in other games is you get the tension of usually it's momo wants to open all the boxes and find all yeah, the things explore and I all the things to be go. like can you go behind this house can you <laughs> and what ends up happening is we end up go like doing a little bit of that and then moving on and so I think probably what we'll get in this is a bit of this a bit of following the rules a bit of chaotic yeah yeah a bit of yeah, yeah, yeah yeah a bit of sorry cop a bit of apocalypse cop yeah <laughs> good idea piggies run along now fuck her shit up good impound that boat while you're at it I'd like to watch her swim back to her zone. Let's ask um, her all the questions. What are you doing to the wall? Can't you tell? I'm painting a beautiful mural, an aereo graffitio visible from low orbit. A few. Cool. I haven't really started it yet. I'm waiting for the right words. She studies the wall, suddenly pensive. I have got <laughs> the options of, so you don't know what to write, why are you so committed to defacing the building? Or I have an opinion on this. I want to hear it. That, I want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> sorry, I just read the last one, which is actually I don't have an opinion on that. <laughs> um, I love public art. Let's do that one. Don't mind us. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks. I'm sure the inspiration will come to me now that I have an official RCM stamp of approval. <laughs> Poor Kim. 
<laughs> she means the opposite. She means the opposite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Do you know I don't suppose you happen to know anything about a murder. <gasps> I ain't no snitch, Pigstein. Go forth and forage in someone else's shit. No shortage of squealers in these parts. Fair enough. Actually, there is a shortage of people who talk to us in a normal, kind, <laughs> informative way. <laughs> Poor Kim. We weren't put on this earth to make your life pleasant, fucko. So you won't talk about the murder, but you maybe, but maybe you can tell us something about the murder victim's missing armor. That's a very odd question to ask her, but sure. Why not? What do I care about some fucking tin eggshells? Isn't armor um, art art for the um body? <laughs> yes. Ugh, all right. Ah! Sad piggy. I'll give you this one. I saw a little girl in the fishing village running around with military grade handwear. Look cute as hell. But there. A little girl. We know of two little girls. One is Kuno S and the other is um the girl from the bookshop. Sure, I think this is someone else. I think this is the fishing village outside the walls, possibly mm. where the guy's gone missing. The the Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Yeah, that would be my guess. If you haven't been there, the village is a shithole down the coast from the main plaza. Have a good time. And there's a little girl wearing gloves there. No, no. That's all the snitching Cindy the Skull does for today. Actually, I don't even know why I told you what I just told Well, thank you anyway, Cindy. Well, you know, it's artists communicating with each other. I have a weakness for animals. It's the animal thing again. Damn it. She looks at you a little sad. I'm like, does she mean animals because she thinks she's calling us a pig? Yeah, maybe. Or we've got like a sad puppy vibe. <laughs> or a weakness for police officers, miss. Thank you either way. Fabulous. Catch you later, Cindy. Watch your back, Uncular. You've got eyes on you. I mean, we know that. Oh. What's this thought? Oh, it'll be our internalized. Coach physical instrument. Yes. What do we get? Wait, how did you know all those hammer throw techniques? How do you know how to hold a discus? Nice. Or the world of youth record in discus? Something doesn't add up here. This mushy thing between your ears didn't know the name of the city you're in, but it comes loaded with trivia about the correct chin position of a shot put ball. Could it be that? Shut up, Namby Pamby. This train of thought ends abruptly. It's leg day. Straighten your rhombus muscle. It's shirts versus skins. Take your shirt off, Namby. Your skins. Uh, what's bonuses? What's under bonuses? Interestingly, just the way this is phrased makes me think, <coughs> you know how it's got like Namby said over and over. It sounds like someone's yelling that at us. Yes. So it's, I thought maybe we were a coach, but maybe like our father was a coach Ooh. or our mother was a coach and they're like yelling at us. Uh, we get plus two for, to physical instrument. Uh, if shirt slot is empty, if we take a shirt off. I love this. So if we need to fight somebody, we're going to take a shirt off. If we need to fight somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I still think doing that will kill us. Mm. But we could save and do it and mm. see what happens. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, but unfortunately, <laughs> minus one to encyclopedia facts are for, no, for by not clads. Cool. Nice job. Indeed. Um, we've got three other ones. Are oh, those top three that we could do something with? Um. Don't we have to buy slots to put them in, though? Mm. Yeah. No, we can't. But let's just have a quick look at them. Um, because I feel like somebody said we really should do one of them. In fact, multiple people did. Rigorous self-critique, not so much into that. Masovian socioeconomics. Um, people think that communism was some crazy idea that had its comeuppance 40 years ago. A fever that shook the world, never to return again. They were right until he woke up today. A spiritual corpse, responsive only to the call of Commodore Red, prostitutes and Kras Mazov. For him, communism is still a thing. He will single-handedly raise the commune of O2 from the o Oceanic Trench, where it has been resting, covered in ghosts and seaweed. He will 
He is the big communism builder. Come, witness his attempt to rebuild communism in the year 51. I'd be quite keen to do that one. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Uh, and then we've also got the precarious world, which people told us that the red checks only fail while you're researching it. Okay. So it's not forever. Seems like the point of this game is victory, the absence of defeat in, on all fronts, victory in business ventures and creative undertakings, victory in love and over other people, political victory, ideological victory, hell even sexual victory, definitely a lot of object-based victories too, having things and not losing them. One problem though, not a lot of victors in sight, everyone's mostly losing. Why is that and how do you not lose? Ooh. Okay, well... We don't have any skill points anyway at the moment, I don't think. Huh? So, um... We'll no. have to wait till we level up. All right. Well, in that case, uh, shall we finish go looking for this... Finish looking for this guy? Yeah. Ooh. We don't know if we need to go up more, but... Ooh, hello. I... Pants. Pants! One to electrochemistry and neg one to reaction speed. We'll take them. We probably don't really want them, but... Oh, oh, oh! I know how to do this now. <laughs> tools, tools, tools. Put this in my hand. Hey yeah. <gasps> Five minute box! Oh, that's awesome. We're doing so well on that now. Uh... Enough cold to last for several winters. Smells of chemicals. Oh, what was that? A hundred tiny feet scurrying beneath the grate, the rats of the city. Nice. Someone's been sleeping here recently. Cindy, question mark. But what, didn't the cleaner say that she lived in the coal room? Uh, she said she lived next to the coal Leaks room. Next to the coal room. Mm. Okay. Okay, cool. Well. That was all interesting. Worth it for the five bucks. Yeah, it I was. love how we're just like scrounging around finding money. Who needs employment when you can just scrounge around until you find dollars? Door is locked and you can't get in. The chair's new. Someone lives back here. Well, how do we get in then? Maybe we have to go around a different way. Whoa, some purple. Above, tarps flap in the wind, forgotten hammers and nails rust. How do we get in this up? Well, I think we need to go somewhere else. Some other part of the building. Come on. Okay. Can we go further? Oh, yes, but there's no doors. Okay, never mind. Well, it was still worthwhile. Um, true, we got true. a tip Very on good the, point. some of the armor. Might be. Um, yeah, let's go everywhere. Oh. oh. What is that? I mean, that? we can speak with the lady now, given that she's right there. <gasps> Plus one to suggestion, negative one to half light. What are those skills? What is half light? I feel suggestions somewhat. Suggestions on the second row on the end, on the right. Charm men and women play the puppet master. It's, okay. Okay, charm. And what was the other one? Half light. Oh, it's just below it. Let the body take control, threaten people. <laughs> well, I, just... I wonder if we were about to have this conversation with this fancy lady. She's probably not going to take too well to being threatened, but she might take well to being... Suggested. suggested. What's our current jacket give us, or shirt, whatever it is? Esprit de corps and shivers. Beautiful. Is it a shirt, though, or is it a coat? Can you put... Oh, no, it's a jacket. Hmm. Oh, my gosh, we look fucking Oh, ridiculous. we look so fancy. <laughs> look ridiculous. Um, All right, we're going to go with it, yeah? I was trying to turn me around, but I don't know if I can. No. All right, I think that's that's probably good to wear during this convo, don't you? Sure, yeah, seems good. Um, Rue de Saint-Guislaine, uh, roundabout north. 
Heaps of apartments. Okay, how do we get to her? Do we think we go uh, down here? Yeah. Was ist das? Looks like there was more construction here once decades ago. Well, it seems to be the vibe for everything around here. Come along, come along, come along. Docking reserved for residents of Rue de saint Pisley, 33A. Well, she's not a resident, is she? Wow. The well, room in the whirling isn't much bigger than the sloop. <laughs> this is worth more than you'll ever earn in your life. Well, that's how boats are. A striking woman leans against the cabin top of her sailing boat, smiling as you approach. Her green raincoat glistens with droplets. A silk scarf is tied around her throat. Do you think if you were a negotiator coming to some shithole, you would wear, like, a silk scarf and, like, your pearls and shit? And bring your boat? Like, what are you trying to yeah. communicate to people? Good afternoon, officers. I'm Joyce. Hello, Joyce. Joyce L. Messier. I represent the board of Wild Pines, the owners of the harbour. You gentlemen must be from the RCM. Um, shall we shake your hand? Yeah. I'm glad to see you here. Her grip is tight and cold. Like steel. There is strength there. If she wanted... She could sink her nails deep into your skin. Good for her. I was dispatched to handle a strike, not a lynching. Anything I can do to assist the RCM in this matter, I will, gladly. Mm. That is good to hear, madame. My colleague will take the lead on this interview. Oh. I should let you know that he is recovering from an unusual medical episode. Very unusual. But I can assure you of his ultimate competency. Remember, Kim has specifically asked us to be off the wall in this conversation. Yes. Okay. There's a trace of irony in his voice. Mischief. I love this. Him. This is a tactic. Okay. He's enjoying it. Okay. <laughs> How interesting. I wish you a swift recovery. In the meanwhile, you have my full cooperation and the full cooperation of the Wild Pines group. Sure we do. It's hard to get a read on her precise disposition. But she appears helpful. <laughs> Can we just <laughs> say the top one? is just, you're on a boat. Can we just say that? Can we just, just Okay, just okay. I just want to see what her options are. So okay. we can ask about Wild Pines and what she does. The strike, the lynching, and the tattoos. We okay. should ask about the tattoos at some point, but let's just be like, you're on a boat. Why, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> she looks at the deck under her feet, green and white sails fall her overhead. Um. <laughs> does she have a name? the boat can i ask this one because yeah. i feel like it, it's a bit about that thing that i just asked of like why has she come with such a weird yeah of course there are we're on an archipelago how else are you supposed to get around <laughs> you say that wait, wait we're on an archipelago <laughs> yes we are we are on le caillou i thought we were in revishol <laughs> we are and the city of revishol is on the island of le caillou still i haven't seen anyone else with a boat yeah I haven't seen anyone else drive a souped-up Coupri Kenema motor carriage either. <laughs> That's Lincoln. Actually, that motor carriage has been specially issued to serve as a patrol and pursuit vehicle. Mm. It's for crossing long distances in the Greater Ravachol Industrial Harbour. It's not a toy. Neither is this. A toy, I mean. It's a machine for crossing long distances in the Bay of Ravachol between the city and the islands. Ooh. Okay, sure. So she does a bit of travelling. You need to make this lady admit she's only riding around on this boat because she's rich. Okay. Yes, I do. Before you do, it would be pertinent to ask others. <laughs> gather more info on this boat of hers. Ooh. No, this, uh, yeah, ask, ask about the stuff and before we go on for the kill. Does she have a name? The boat? No. It is called Cordelati 19 because that's the type of sloop it is. Okay, but what kind of boat is it's it? It's a pleasure craft, a 19 pacer. It also happens to be rated for category one racing. Though these days I mainly use it for business. Mmm, pleasure craft, hey? A racing boat too. How do you like it? My sloop? I like it a lot. 
It's the eel's hips, baby. <laughs> okay. I'm enjoying this part of the interview. It has so little to do with the mother we investigated. <laughs> I really do, the lieutenant thinks. Is she thrown off oh, yet? Yes. He's looking at the woman, assessing her. Look, ask about the license. Do button. you have a license? Officer, I assure you, I'm a highly qualified pleasure craft operator. Uh -huh. Yeah, does she need a license? Like, I don't know. I, I don't know about boats. in other countries, but in New Zealand, you don't need licenses for operating boats. Um, yeah. So there are licenses involved, but you don't, I don't, I'm 90% sure you don't need one for just like owning a boat. Um, yeah, I'm sure you're cool. The crowns of her teeth are porcelain, white as the boat's hull as she mm. smiles. Uh huh. Her nonchalance might be related to something called the Wayfarer Act, a law that says she doesn't need a license. Sly Fox. You're not aggressive enough to harass her further okay. on this. Okay. Shall I yes. go in for the kill? Let's talk about the economics of this boat that you're on. Oh my. The E word. You mean to say that it's a symbol of conspicuous consumption? That I'm a member of the ruling class? Um... So we've got Yes Exactly or Precisa Mundo, Class War Time Baby, which I'm quite keen on. Uh, or no, it's a symbol of our subjugation to the to foreign capital, the bad kind of capital. I like number two as well. All right, let's do it. Detective, may I remind you that Mrs. Messier is a professional negotiator? He doesn't look like he thinks you'll best her in single combat. <laughs> then what does that say? She points to the plaque on the side of the pier. Docking reserved for residents of Rue de saint Gislaine, 33A. Yes, she it does. 33A, this old proletarian haunt here. As I said, plenty of people drive boats of all social strata. What's the... What, let, yes. Let's do it. So the... We get a plus one for it's the eel's heels, which is what she said. It is. So fire back quick. Let's give it a go. <gasps> it could work. Yes! Oh! This flesh. Um, oh my gosh, Ooh, so the options. I like all of these options. So the options are, this house was built before the revolution. And funny, I don't see any other eels hills around here. And there doesn't seem to be much space left with this 19 pace sloop docked here. I like number two. All right. The eels hills. You mean eels hips. Ah, that's right. That point taken. I am a bourgeois woman, and this is my fast, light, interminably bourgeois boat. Yes. We won! Exactly. <laughs> okay, I think I've ended on the boat thing. <laughs> Good. Okay, tell me about the wide, wild pines. What do you do? What we do? I'm afraid I don't speak for wild pines as a whole. It, it's a giant undertaking. Okay. There was a touch of discomfort there. She wants to merely represent... Okay, so what do they do? The Pines, core competency, is logistics. Okay. Container shipping, freight, that sort of thing. See those airships there, blinking? Those are the shipping side of things. Mm-hmm. And that is the terminal. Another subdivision deals with energy, oil and gas exploration, offshore platforms. How rich are they? I'm not at liberty to discuss the company balance sheet, but I can tell you that last year... The company booked more than 20 billion real in revenue. Okay. Sounds like a fuck ton. I, a sorry. billion? I was about to say, I'm interested in pressing her on what she does because she deflected when we said, what do you do? She deflected to telling us about the company. Yeah, yeah. And she's she's wanting to be kind of like, don't, don't assume that I am necessarily on board with everything that the company is doing. Mm, interesting. I, I think. Okay, so a billion. Or what exactly is a billion? Wow. That's it? I thought Wild Pines was supposed to be big time. Numbers like that mean nothing to me. <laughs> Can <laughs> we say yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. Yes, past a certain point, numbers begin to seem imaginary. But they are quite real for the 72,000 employees who depend on Wild Pines for their paychecks. That's a fair point. A conglomerate the size of Wild Pines is like a shark. If it stops moving and growing, it will die. Then what becomes of those 72,000 families? 
It is a tremendous responsibility. And yet you've got a whole lot of people uh, protesting, and people don't protest unless they've got good reason to protest. Generally, because they're giving up their pay, right, to do that. Well, depending on the protest, but just, in, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, the, um, what was I think? Not just protest. Strike. Um, strikes, yeah. Yeah. Um, where, so the options are, where does Wild Pines get all these billions? And, yeah, let's ask that. They started as an exploration and cargo fleet conducting trade between the Samaran and Insulindian Easterlers 250 years ago. Wow, that's a really old company. ships explored the South Seminese and charted Lormantang on behalf of the suzerain. Okay, great. Cool. Centuries of care, deliberation and madness have gone into this endeavour. Vessels pass through the great unrest to re-emerge with apricots in tow. The logic of the system is totalizing. It's taken everything from its employees to build it. Let's ask number two, which is what does this, what does such a huge system want with a place like this and look around? Mm. You mean aside from being the terminal's legal owners, who are responsible for moving 8% of the world's cargo? Is this the Suez Canal? Um, you don't keep it moving, the workers do. The company is nothing without them. Yeah! We built this district. So? We. There it is. Mm. She owns up to it. Mm. All the best parts of it. Rue de saint Gislaine, with its bastions. The plazas, meteor and mosaic. Even some of the old street lamps have been put back thanks to the investments from the WP. She points behind you where the seawall rises. Yeah, well, don't act like you've done it as a good of your own. Like, you do that. Com big companies do that sort of thing because it benefits them, not just because they're nice. No. Ugh. Before Martinez was swallowed by the industrial harbour, even before it was part of Revachol, long before Terminal B was erected here, the Pines built it as a resort for its Revisholian employees. Really? Mm. Interesting. A company getaway for a weekend or a summer holiday. Then came the revolution. But that's another matter. I'm here to make sure the Pines can fulfill their responsibilities to the place they built. With your help, hopefully, mm. says her we do want to ask her all these things, but we it's nice it's brought us back to the the core conversation starters. Yeah. So what can you tell me about the strike? We mm -hmm. really want to know everything. that. Everything. Right up to, but not including, trade secrets. What if I want to what hear, about, want trade to hear about trade secrets? First, you'd have to repeal the Emergencies Act of Trade and Elements. That gives me the right to silence. It's quite the octopus. An octopus? I will slay it! Good luck is only kept in place by the vested interests of half the civilized world, including your own. <sighs> okay. What the man means is that the Emergencies Act and the RCM both get their authority from the coalition government. Fine. Mm -hmm. You'd be shooting yourself in the foot, in other words. I mean, we just said that to be mad. But I am derailing us. You wanted to know about the strike. What's your role in it? I believe the official title is Senior Labour Negotiator. In practice, I'm a grocery clerk. I relay the union's demands to Wild Pines and return with Wild Pines' counteroffer. Okay. I think you are downplaying your involvement in the situation, mm -hmm. but sure. And how are the talks going? They're not. That's the problem. The union stopped all negotiations a week ago, after that awful lynching took place. Interesting. Mm. That the Very interesting. That we think the union did, or at least those nine... Or have many guys from the union. Yeah. It's not in the union's interest to not negotiate. Uh, it should be in the interest if, if the company's playing ball. If it's not, then... Yeah. It's not really. Now they won't even let me into the harbour. There's a 2 meter twenty racist behemoth blocking the gates. Oh, Measurehead. Measurehead. Yeah. Yes. Jean-Luc Measurehead. She leans back and rolls her eyes. So how were the talks going before the lynching? Let's say I was not making the kind of progress I'd hoped for when I first arrived. Okay. And when did you first arrive? I arrived three weeks ago. Yes, in the middle of February. The bay was still partially frozen then. I prefer to do these things on site, like the RCM. She's buttering us up. 
<laughs> but the strike began in December. Mm. That's a long time for someone not to turn up. Mm -hmm. I wasn't the original negotiator. Oh. I took over after Mr. Gaumont hit a wall with Mr. Clare, the union boss. Mr. Clare refused to speak with Gaumont despite concessions he'd granted the union in prior negotiations. Uh-huh. This isn't the first time the union has gone on strike? Heavens no. There have been two prior strikes. Both times the union won significant concessions, including overtime pay and a medical plan. This time their demands are more... I guess you could say aggressive. Those first two seem like really reasonable like, demands. Perfectly normal things, yeah. What do they want this time? It's mint. Uh, I want to know what the demands are. Same. What are their demands? There are leaflets everywhere and banners. What did they say again? Oh, yes. Every worker, a member of the board. Oh, that doesn't make any sense at all. No. But you could, you could do a... Like, rip, rips. <sighs> yeah. Most of the workers probably don't know what that means. Yeah. Um... Maybe just number two, because I... I don't, yeah, I don't know what to think about that. Fortunately, they explained it. Every time the Wild Pines group makes a decision about anything, it needs the signature of each of the 2,200 workers in its Martinez terminal. Well, but ultimately you can do kind of sometimes what happens here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, is if there is a big change, particularly to like working conditions or something like that, the company usually has to work with the relevant union. Yes. That's usually what happens. But it's interesting how she's framed this. Um, every time the Wild Pines group makes a decision about anything... That's not just a decision about working conditions. No. And that is way beyond what a union should be involved in in an organisation. They should be about working conditions. Uh, and so that makes me think, that makes me wonder if there's something else going on that that's trying to cover. Oh, I also wonder if, since she is repping the company's position, if that's kind of hyperbole um, about the union stance, so exaggerating it to make it seem unreasonable. Mm, that um, could be true, yeah. Yeah, but uh, maybe, maybe, maybe uh, Everett is, is an interesting character. He is, and I, yeah, like that's just like set my mind kind of whirling in terms of like, if there is something that they're trying to cover up, what could it be? Ooh. He talked about lots of the shipping containers being empty. Mm hmm. Are they smuggling underneath the wild pines and trying question. to hide it? I, I don't know. Like, I'm, 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 I'm wildly coming up with theories at this point. Just so you understand, this is but one of 22 terminals owned by wild pines. Essentially, not only are they kings of the company, they are also kings of the 72,000 employees no. of wild pines group. No, no, your employer is not your king. Um, uh, I almost don't want to ask any of those. I kind of want to say this, but I'm also open to saying this. Let's do that. The king has said, long live the workers. That may well be. It's not up to me to decide who is king, but as negotiations go, it's not a swell start. No. Mm. So what are you going to do? I'm not sure. Naturally, I assume that was just their opening position. Mm. A hard-nosed tactic with a side of mockery. But there's been no follow-up, just the same nonsensical slogan repeated over and over again. Mm. Interesting. And now, people are getting lynched, I hear. Behind the whirling in rags. A disastrous situation if there ever was one. Well, this might be a good opportunity to ask you Excuse about what you know. Me. From whom did you hear about this lynching? Mm. I first heard it from the boyer at the gates. The one whose very name advertises his aversion to work. I think he said it was... Call me Manana. Um, I believe that Manana in Swedish means tomorrow. Huh. This checks out. Um. Ooh. Scabs at the gate. Did you put them there? We know one of them's been hired. That's true. The scabs. You mean the huddled masses of Jamrock 
come to plead for work where the union refuses to. Yeah, it's a... If they were organized by Wild Pines or its affiliates, then it would be a company secret. I could not share it with you. Not right now, at least. That's an obvious yes. Yeah, because she would just say, say no. no. <laughs> it's implied. She's open to Ooh. discussing this matter with you at a later occasion. Okay. What happened to the previous negotiator? Mr. Clare told him to... How did he put it? She pauses to compose herself. Fuck off, midget. Ooh. Go on to his shorter stature, you see. Uh, not cool. Not cool? Keep in mind, this is a negotiator Mr. Clare has worked with before, and who was more than fair with him and the union. Which leads me even more to think that there's something else going on, because essentially that's a stalling tactic, right? That's like... Mm -hmm. I don't even want to negotiate. Yes. I want to make you have to waste the time to find another negotiator to get here. Yeah. Sure. Uh, part of me is also thinking, well, you've worked so well with this person in the past. What made you not yeah. want to work with them? Was it something that, I mean, of course the union is going to be like, we were more than fair uh, when the people had to fucking strike to get over time in the first place. Mm, <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> you know, that they think they're fair. Um, in saying that, if you've worked something with someone successfully for a while, you probably, yeah, I think you're right. Did something, some, did something trigger that? Something interesting was happening in the background. What do you think of Everard? Everard Clare is a man of the utmost integrity. If you can say one thing about him, it's that he always puts the interests of the workers first. Really? Does he? Of course not. Everard is fantastically corrupt. I imagine he has a thick, viscous goo where you and I have blood. Yep, that sounds like him. Um, number one is that's Everard, all right, yep. He is the most corrupt individual I have ever seen, and I deal with men like him for a living. If there is anyone more venal, more irredeemably nepotistic, then it's his twin brother, Edgar. There's Ooh. two of them? Yes. Yes. Edgar looks exactly like his brother except for that lazy eye. He also talks exactly like Everard does. And when one's term as foreman is up, the other takes over. Ooh. Were we actually talking to his brother? I don't remember anything about a lazy eye. Well, I'm sure the picture looked a little bit off. I mean, all the pictures look a little bit off, apart from hers. I know. We should look at the picture after this, though, because it, it was a thumbnail for one of the recent episodes. Okay. <laughs> and I swear, a little bit like a goldfish, his eyes were going in other directions. Okay. It's how they circumvent the term limits, you see, with a funny little switcheroo. While in office, they've embezzled God knows how much of uh, their workers' dues. Oh, oh, no, okay, so it sounds like they don't sort of pretend they are all Everard, so that's right. <laughs> it would have been Everard. Uh, what about Which is interesting that she's saying this. Like, obviously, we can't take everything she's saying at face value, but she's saying that Everard has taken money from the workers. Yes. What about the union itself outside the brothers? The Daybarders Union was once a perfectly normal institution. 20 years ago, anyway. It must not have been easy to establish under the Emergency Act, but they did it. I can respect that. Organized labor at its best, as they say. Then something happened in the local chapter elections. The brothers Claire came and transformed it into a, how do you say? She hesitates, looking for the right expression. A mob. The debardeurs are a crime syndicate. Sad mm. as it may be, we are forced to cooperate with them. Mm. Okay. Refreshingly honest, officer. The company has tried appeasing in the past, but I'm afraid our concessions have only emboldened Everard and his brother. Well, as, as I was saying, medical care and overtime pay are not unreasonable accessions. <laughs> um, but I do think this lends credence to your theory. That they're up to something. Yes, yeah. I do, I do. And your opinion, detective, if I may ask? I'm a curious and talkative person, you see. Would you say the Daybarders Union is... Well, it's certainly not number one. An effective advocate for the rights of the local working men. A giant leech sucking the life out of Rivershaw. Basically a socialist mob. I prefer not to have an opinion on these things. Um, number th three? Mm. Thank you for being candid. Sadly, Wild Pines have cooperated with what amounts to a crime syndicate for two decades. However much you feed the wolf... 
the wolf always hungers. Mm. So one more thing, you said something happened in the elections. Mm. I'm glad you asked. Oh, experience. There was a woman, the previous forewoman of the union. She disappeared. Uh, Momo just pointed at my cat again. He He's is. just like lay, laying about in the sun. He's having a lovely time. Even though it's really warm in here. <laughs> and he's the fluffiest you can get. Um, a woman disappeared. Maybe we can find her. Or find out what happened to her. Yes. On the last day of the local chapter elections, her daughter phoned in and Ooh. said she wasn't running anymore. Or coming to work. Ever. End of story. Uh, hang on. I was going to say that sounds like some... If someone else calls in... Yeah. Yeah. I think the last one's some kind of extortion properly. Or... Indeed. The company suspects foul play, but there's nothing they could do. It was a union matter. Mm. Mm. Grim. The point of the presentation is, these kinds of things happen around the Clares. Watch out when you're dealing with him. Well, we're trying. <laughs> we're trying really hard, but <laughs> we may fail. Thank you for your concern. He's got our fucking gun. I think, we, I think we're going to have to work with... Someone did say that the game respects your ability to lie. So you can say one thing and then just go do whatever the fuck you want. Yes, and, and several people were like, yes, going along with Everett feels icky, but... Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean you're like completely 100% sided with the, the union. union. Uh, and it doesn't seem to lock you out of other things, which is what we're And apparently about. It, will, it will allow us to see, uh, find a whole lot more information. So, so we probably will go back up there because A, we want our gun and B, we're interested in what's going on. Yeah, and I feel like we're kind of, yeah. Learning more about how the game approaches these things. Yeah. Okay, let's change the topic. Of How else can I help? I do think... Oh, shall we tell her we spoke with Everard? No, let's ask about the lynching first. Let's ask about the lynching. What can you tell us Quite about the lynching? a few things, I'm afraid. Uh, the information I'm to share with you includes sensitive trade secrets. For the sake of my employer, I have to ask for your name. We don't have, badge. Badge. have our badge. We don't have our badge! We do have our coat, though, which might have that information on it. Of course, ma'am. We should have introduced ourselves. I am Lieutenant Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. Oh my gosh. And this is my colleague from Precinct 41, Detective Dubois. I'm afraid Harry doesn't have his badge at the moment. I hope mine will suffice. Oh, and what happened to yours, Detective? <laughs> Fuck Kim's a smooth talker sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I had it. I lost it in my unusual medical episode. I... See. She looks increasingly so worried. Are you saying you lost your badge during the course of this episode? Uh, it's so there are a couple of options. It's possible after a heavy night of drinking, I lost all memory of my life in the world. I could have eaten it for all I know. I don't remember anything. This world, the city, nothing. Let's go with that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. Some kind of encephalopathic amnesia. I don't even know how to respond. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I do believe you, naive as that may sound. I simply can't imagine what you've done by <laughs> such a condition. Uh, yeah, that's fair. As I said, ma'am, his technique may be very unconventional, but he is an officer of the RCA. I'm not sure that Kim wanted us to reveal that, but anyway. Course, we didn't, we didn't have an option. But I'm afraid I simply can't share anything more. Uh, I've seen that badge. Dang it. Okay. Okay. Hang on. She's a professional negotiator. Ooh. She should be open to some sort of mutually yes. beneficial arrangement. Um, what's what kind of arrangement? Should we ask this first so we can see if we can get another plus? Yeah, I agree. What kind of arrangement I would mean, it be? Favors for favors, a dirty alliance of it's some no sort. No worse than what we're going to do Consider with Ebrat. Perhaps she has been planning it all along. That you convince yourself into colluding with her. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh we did. We did. Okay, okay. Here we go. How can I know, negotiate my way out of this? Come on. Easy. Yes. Just offer her a favor, like I said, nice and dirty. Yeah. Surely there's some other way to demonstrate our law enforcement credentials. I will be frank with you. If I'm going to break protocol, I need to be able to justify it to my superiors. They're going to want to see something very tangible. What is that? You're in, but expect her to drive a hard bargain. Like what? Reports from inside Terminal B suggest it's a hub for the local drug trade. This ah. is an open secret in Martinez. The union controls the terminal, Ooh. so it goes to reason. The company has tried looking into this matter before, 
to no avail. Perhaps someone with your authority We're gonna have and to resources fight Michigan. might turn over the right stones. I'm so pleased. Or yeah. you can recover your badge. Though if I may be blunt with you, it sounds like that may be a lost cause. I believe in us. Uh, that we'll find it. Detective, a word in private before we continue. Yes. Excuse us for a moment, madame. What does Kim think? Let's have a chat with Kim. Kim, what do you want? Lou? This is not going quite as I hoped it would. How did, how did you hope it would go? Honestly, I was expecting you to use your unorthodox technique to keep her off balance and, you know, not volunteers to be her henchman. Okay. I thought it was going so well. Yeah. This woman is running circles around us. She might have known mm. about your misplaced badge all along, or she's simply an adept improviser. What? Either way, we've played straight into her. What do you reckon? Because she's like, I think that's a lost cause. What if she is our fucking badge? I think she's got our fucking she's badge. She's got our badge and Everett has our gun. <laughs> <laughs> the bastards! Um, well, I like all of these options. I like the top one because I think she is running circles around us. Her proposal was likely part of her design. This all is. Um, I think she's got our fucking badge. Yes. Knowing this does not really change our position, however. Yeah. What do you propose? That we don't investigate the drug trafficking? No. If there is reasonable suspicion, we must investigate. Otherwise, she could claim we are siding with the Union. Or that we are on their take. We'd never hear the end of it. All right. What I propose is, we ask her, then we investigate. Briefly. But do not share the outcome of this Ooh. investigation with her. We tell her it's done and demand for her information on the lynching. Okay. Okay. We could just find my badge. Yeah. Oh, that would be fantastic. But do we have the time? The world is large, and your badge is eight by six centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> I love him so the much. The situation might have changed drastically by the time mm, you located. Yeah. Time is of the essence. You could request a new one from your station, but that would literally take months. Oh fuck! Okay. I think I think he's got a perfect solution, which is we did the investigation. You're not privy to the outcome of that because it is an Official it's a police RCM investigation. investigation. Yeah. Uh, but we did do it. Yeah. So. Okay. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Um, what do you want me to say first? So I reckon we should ask, uh, by the way, I've talked to Everett Claire. Okay. You have. She smells careful. And how did you like Mr. Claire? <laughs> <laughs> the second option, don't say it, but he's a beautiful man, beautiful and just. Um... This um, one I'm okay with. The bottom one or the top one. I didn't. Oh, come on now. He has his uses. How else would he have stayed in power all these years? Or wait, actually... She answers her own question. Corruption. That's how he's done it. Fantastic, verm-like corruption. Reaching into the bowels of the earth. I like her. She looks into the ground and nods. She does, uh, but yeah, but she's representing like people, the man. Yeah, people who are making literally billions of real off the backs of other people who are living in this place. Look at the yeah. places they live in. Yeah. So they're not paying their workers a decent wage. No. Anyway, I mean, when I say I like her, I mean I don't her agree character. with her. Yeah, I find her an interesting character. Yeah. I don't agree with her. The position of my unusual colleague does not reflect <laughs> official policy. I hope you understand. The RCM does not pick sides. Of course. And I don't expect you to share anything he told you with me. I'm Ooh. not a corrupt verm myself. However, if you felt like discussing something, how could I stop you? Are we not human? <laughs> Are we not curious to hear another person's take it's only natural we would only be gossiping <laughs> ah, shit. she is a fucking snake intellectually speaking it would be quite interesting to hear what she has to say about these things uh, we can't say anything else i wonder if we'd accepted the offer from him that we could have said something more here oh i wonder um i'd rather talk about something else for now of course detective should something come up later down the road, don't be afraid to drop by I and chat. Right. Until then, is there anything I can help the you with? The tattoos. 
You, you want are, me to yeah. say that first? Yeah, that okay. and then the top one, and then no, it's, um, yeah, yes. That's the man who was killed. How's she know I'm that? afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. Do you know Ooh. something about the tattoos? Yeah. Better not tie the fourth day to the bat's day on this. I hope there is something else I can help you oh, with. Oh, she won't okay. talk to us about it at all. Okay. Uh, tell us about the alleged drug trafficking. It's quite straightforward. Someone is using Terminal B to smuggle raw ingredients from the Samaran Isola into Revachol with the Union's blessing. Wild Pines has suspected it for years. Didn't you literally say all those empty containers could be used for smuggling? <laughs> ingredients for what, ma'am? Meth and dextroamphetamine, GBL and various synthetic psychedelics. Honestly, it might be quicker to say what you can't make from the stuff. Uh, so let me get straight. The materials come from Samara to Rivershall through the terminal? Yes. After they clear the terminal, we lose track. The actual production is taking place at various sites in and around Jamrock Quarter, north of here. Hmm. Interesting. Wild Pine seems to be well apprised of the local drug trade, man. Do you mean to say the Union also produces the product? Sells drugs, I mean? We're in logistics. It's our business to know. And no. As far as the company knows, the Union does not produce it. They okay. transport the ingredients for a cut. So they're just a middleman. Right, and you want us to investigate. Yes, but you won't get anything out of Everart and the Dock Workers Union. Still, every chain has its weak link. That's true. The handoff. The motor lorries at the roundabout. Okay. Am I going to need bulk uh, colors for this? <laughs> the weak link. Um, the, yeah, the, the lorries? Yeah. Precisely. Someone needs to move the ingredients from the harbor into the city. Once they reach Jamrock, they're distributed to a network of local manufacturers well beyond our grasp. But in transit, they're mm, vulnerable. We've got an in with at least one of the lorry, maker, lorry people, and the other one's super racist. Yeah. Perhaps you've noticed that a number of lorries are tangled in a traffic jam at the roundabout just now. Interview the drivers who are still hanging about. One of them might be waiting for a crucial shipment. One of them was evasive about what they were... Was it the racist one? Evasive about what they... Dry, uh, what they what their I can't remember now. Shipments were... Yeah, because the friendly guy was just like, I just transport, like, like clothes. rackets or something, yeah. yeah. Her irises are light green, like the river Esperance in bright daylight, upstream where it's clearer. I'll be explicit. If you find this driver, I will share company secrets with you. <sighs> Why didn't you come to the RCM earlier? Yeah. I'm just going to read the rest of these first, yeah. though. Um... Okay. Yep. Yes. We did. On more than one occasion. Oh. Apparently, there's some sort of interprecinct yeah. disagreement uh, about whose jurisdiction knew that. this that area yeah. falls under. That is absolutely true. We know the company has launched its own probe into the union's alleged involvement. We also know it's come up empty. It's not just the RCM. No one's mm. been able to find any hard evidence. Okay. Well, here's your chance, officers. It's no coincidence the lorries are stranded like that, is it? No. We asked East Motor Track to raise the drawbridge. Ah. The road company is a partner of one of our subsidiaries. However, this is a limited time opportunity. We've only got one Once day. Once the complaint has been processed by the trade committee, they'll have no choice but to lower the drawbridge. Oh, and, then and the operation will continue. So we've got to do it today. Okay. Thousands of litres of raw ingredients will pour onto the streets of Revachol. Not the east across the river, but the west. The vulnerable. The weary. Well, at least this solves one mystery. What's that, Kim? What is that, Lieutenant? Why I had to call East Motor Track and beg them to open a drawbridge for me. I'd wonder since I first drove in, on my motor carriage. I am sorry for the inconvenience, Lieutenant Kitsuragi, but we need them trapped here. This is a unique opportunity. I'm sure you understand. We should ask all of these, even though we already know they don't have proof. Yeah. Yeah. How do you think they're financing this strike? Uh, there are thousands of unpaid dock workers going strong for the fourth month straight. Mm. There was a shakedown of local businesses preceding the strike. Many were squeezed to bankruptcy to fund it. We didn't know that. 
With all due respect to these desert cacti, the contents of a few cash registers cannot provide for 2,000 men. The local businesses can scarcely provide for themselves. Mm. So you think the strike has been funded with the source ingredients for drugs? Precisely. Smuggled out of that very gate at night, most likely. Then loaded onto lorries and driven to Jamrock. You simply need to find a one. driver who will open up to you. I bet we can. It sounds like she tried looking into it herself. Though she's clearly not the type yeah. that a typical lorry man would confide in. Although, th why would they confide in a cop? I don't know, but I reckon we can do it. Uh, ooh, do we, do we want to tell her that? I don't know if we want to tell her what we, what we know about the lynching. Let's proceed, eh? Yes. Accept it. We will take this case, probe the driver's and see what it yields. Excellent. According to my reports, there are at least three lorry drivers lingering near the roundabout. Hopefully one of them will know something. Maybe. Okay. It may come to nothing, or it may just blow the case wide open. <gasps> yes. I can keep the drawbridge up for a few more days oh, at awesome. least. You should have the time you need. Thank you. In the meantime, let me know if there's any other way I may be of assistance. Let's think of <laughs> Takes another long sip from her seemingly bottomless thermal cup. That's all for now. Of course, detective. Take care. I'm glad we, we sort of um, put her a wee bit off balance with the boat questions because we won that, that duel. We but she, did. But she did still manage to run uh, laps around us yeah. conversationally. Uh, friends, that is all the time we have for right this All this new moment. stuff we have to do. But I'm very pleased with that conversation. Not necessarily that I don't think it necessarily went well for us, but... We still haven't even found the smoker. That's what we started this episode trying to do. I know, but, but I that still... was really fascinating. Who gets the smoker? We will. Yeah. We will. We'll get to all of this. Um, friends, we've got forty dollars. Holy shit, we're rich. <laughs> it's two nights sleep. Um, if there are any directions you'd like us to run in, uh, we're just going to record one more episode after this. So just keep that in mind. Um, that if you have any tips, tricks, or uh, queries, we won't request. get it till. The episode one after more this. After that, yeah. Um, do we think we'll go after the smoker next? I think so. Yeah. You, you know us. We'll, we'll get um, distracted at piece straight candy, away. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if there's any requests or tips or whatever, as always, feel Keep free to... Keep it spoiler free. Thank you. You guys have been really good so far. Yes. Um, but we appreciate your your, uh, your input. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye.